Hey, hey, Tony Gaskins here, and I am here with an amazing coach, LaToya Blackman. She is a coach on MyMentor.life, and she was one of the coaches that we selected to feature in this first series, Talking to Coaches. So, LaToya, how are you? Hi, Tony. I'm great. I thank you so much for this opportunity. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me and for being a coach on MyMentor.life. Now, how long have you been on the site? Um, I have been on the site since you put it up. Um, I did the Life Coach certification the beginning of this year. Um, and as soon as I received your email stating that the site was live, I made no hesitation and I signed up. Wow. Wow. So in 2019 or 2018 did you do any professional coaching sessions in those years yes i did i actually had one coaching session with you in 2018 um i remember you were having like a deal going on and i was like okay i have to coach with this man because i know you're so well renowned so we had a coaching session um you know i discussed about coming out of a toxic relationship and you evaluated my social media on Instagram, um, and your feedback was so helpful, and it helped jumpstart me in my healing process. Um, I knew that I always wanted to be a coach. I actually looked back at an old journal of mine, and I wrote it down in 2018 that I would be a life coach for women. So I'm just so happy that now it's coming to pass. Wow. Now, tell me a little bit about your story and what led you to wanting to become a coach, like that toxic relationship that you left, what was that like? So yes, um, leaving that toxic relationship, um, it taught me a lot. It was a relationship that I endured emotional, physical, emotional abuse. Um, I was in that relationship for five years. This was someone who I thought I would marry. Um, and it really broke me down when things ended. Uh, when things became physical. So I wanted to become a life coach because I wanted to help people know that I understand what you're going through. I've gone through some similar things. I can relate. Um, and I, want, I really want to help women get to the next level of their healing process with God. Um, I make it pretty known on my coaching um, page that I am a believer. So when people read it, they'll know whether they want to work with me or not. Mm, I see. That is something. That is amazing that you, you know, you lead, let them know who you are. You're being authentic. Now, you got on the site when I launched it. That probably was uh, January or so. And when did you get your first client? My first client was actually a couple. And that was the end of february wow wow a couple so did that catch you off guard were you nervous yes very nervous i was like wow okay oh i'm up for the challenge um i still coach them to this day you know they come and coach with me periodically um they're actually on their way to getting married which is amazing um so yes it, it was good. It was, it was tough at first, but I got through it. Wow. That is amazing. Now your three categories that you choose to coach in as far as my mentor.life is concerned, what are they? My coaching categories are faith relationships and health and wellness. Wow. Okay. So now that couple, was that the only couple that hired you? And then it was individuals after that, or was it, more couples or more individuals um i did get more couples not as many as the individuals maybe about three more couples but the first couple that booked with me they've been the most consistent wow so now how has it been coaching couples you know after leaving a relationship i take it are you still single yes i am at the moment so that's interesting because you get to kind of talk to them about, hey, like you pull from what went wrong in your situation, things that you 
saw he could have done better, things you could have done better? Like, where are you pulling from when you coach a couple? Yes. So when I coach a couple, I do pull from my past experience. I pull from people in my life's experience. Um, and just also with biblical principles as well to help them go on the right path. That's amazing. That's amazing. And I want to highlight that because it shows that even single people can help a couple. And although, you know, you didn't put like married couples or marriage, you put relationships and a couple sees you and they reach out and they want to talk to you. And so it's kind of like that Apostle Paul type wisdom, how here you have this person who had lived and saw some things, probably saw his past relationships. And as far as we know, was single, but gave, wrote some of the most profound relationship wisdom the world has ever known. And so that's amazing because when you kind of get to step into other arenas and say, hey, I've learned, I've lived, and this is what I know now. So that's pretty awesome. Now, right now with coaching, are you balancing it with your day job? Yes, I am balancing it with my day job. Um, so I usually coach in the evenings and weekends when I'm off. That's awesome. That's awesome. And that's wisdom too. That is wisdom because I tell people all the time, sometimes you have to balance the dream with the job until the dream becomes the job. And I think a lot of times people, they'll see something that they want to do and they'll just, you know, tell their job, hey, I'm done with you and haven't really built enough momentum in that other career and end up having to crawl back to the job. So that's wisdom. Now, do you plan on one day being a full time coach or would you rather continue to balance, you know, for the next three, four five years? So at this time, I think I'll continue to balance it. Um, I'll see where God leads me. I wouldn't mind doing this um, full time as an entrepreneur. Um, I do plan to branch out and become an author for multiple books. I've actually already published an ebook. So um, I'm working on my book right now, my next book. So I'll see where God leads me. Awesome. Now tell me about the ebook. What's the title and where could, is it available for, you know, purchase or download right now? So this is it printed out and the name of it is 30 day affirmations, 30 days to stronger faith in God. Um, and it is available on Amazon Kindle. I actually also have it available on, um, an, a site called PayHip, So you can download it. Um, most people like Amazon, so you can download it from there. Wow, that's awesome. How, how long did it take you to write the 30-day affirmations? Um, it took me about maybe a month and a half um, because I do have prayers in there. I also have um, all the affirmations are scriptural based. Um, I have a worship praise and worship playlist. I also um, give you a, a testimony with my faith. So it's, it's pretty well-rounded. Um, it's a, a great jump start to people really obtaining faith um, and maintaining their faith. You know, all levels, it can really help you. That's amazing, that's amazing. Now, where did the inspiration come from to write that 30-day affirmations book? So it really came in my prayer time, to be quite honest. Um, I knew I wanted to write an ebook. I had a lot of ideas, but I asked God to show me, to tell me what is it that he wants me to focus on. Um, and because I coach in faith, I said, how can I help people with faith? You know, um, when they're, if they can't coach with me or after the coaching session, I need to provide a resource. So God led me to this 30 day affirmation ebook and it was just like so easy to do it. And I'm so glad that I obeyed and went through with it. Wow. That's amazing. So 
we're going to put that link in the description of this video for those who want to go get it because I'm sure it'll help everyone who reads it, but it also will inspire people to write their own. So that's pretty amazing. So you, you work a job and you are a coach and now you're an author. We're gonna get a few more book sales today when, when the video is up. And so that's three streams of income right there. Did you plan that like at 18 or that you wanted to have multiple streams of income or is it just kind of your steps being ordered? So no, um, I grew up in a household where you're taught you go to college, you get in your career and you work for someone. So this is all new to me. Um, and it's really a blessing. Um, it really is. Wow. Wow. So more books, you have more books on the way. Yes. I'm currently writing, uh, my next book is going to be about my story. Um, so hopefully that will come out soon. Awesome. Now, when if you had to describe your ideal client, like who you feel you're really called to, him or her, their situation, what would that ideal client look like that you feel you're truly called to? So my ideal client would be someone who is in a place where they're looking for change. Um, they already have made it up in their mind before they booked a session with me that they want growth. Um, they're seeking answers. They're, they're looking for a plan. You know, I really try to give my clients, um, I give them, I ask them coaching questions. Of course, I listen to their story. I let them talk more than I would talk. Um, and I always like to leave them with some exercises to do after our session. So it really has them thinking, it really has them working so they can work through whatever issues they're going through and get to that goal that they're trying to obtain. Wow. Now, where did you, or how did you craft your coaching style? Like the flow of your calls, because what you just laid out, that was pretty smooth. And that sounds like a, a powerful session. So how did you do that? I um I just kind of go with the flow of the call. You know, I listen to the client, I see what their needs are, what they're struggling with, and I base my questions off of that. So I don't have like these preset questions or coaching exercises for them. I just kind of go with the flow. Um and I really try to see what can I give them to where they can reach their goal. So that's kind of just how I do it, yeah. Wow, that's pretty awesome now. So from what I'm hearing, you sound like a natural coach. Like for you to just, you know, be able to say, hey, you, this, this book, this 31, this 30 day affirmations came to me in my prayer time. And this coaching session, I go with the flow. That's like a natural, it's like natural instinct. So before you became a professional, were you giving advice and coaching friends and family before that? Yes, absolutely. Um, over the years, I've always been, I guess, that friend that you can call, we can talk about things, um, even with some of my family members. Um, when I just started the coaching professionally, I actually had a friend who said to me, this is for you because you're always giving great advice. You know, I'm glad that you found something to where you can be compensated for it. So yes. So it, I guess it's just, I didn't realize that I was always coaching per se, but it's, it's just like a gift. Wow. Wow. So now what is your current coaching rate and what went into what thought went into setting that price for yourself? Well, I recently um, changed it. So now it's at $60 an hour. Um, for a long time, I was I started out at 25 and then I went up to 35. So I stayed at 35 for quite a bit. But I feel that the more I grow, um, that it will need to increase. Um, just for the quality of coaching that I give my clients, I feel that that would be the appropriate rate. That's awesome. That's awesome. And I love that you started at 25 
you get your feet wet, you get a feel for it, and then you give yourself a raise. Now, how good does it feel to be able to log in to the back end of the site and give yourself a raise without having to go sit down and talk to a boss? It feels amazing. I never thought that I would be able to do something like this so yes it's very empowering and it motivates you to keep going as well I mean it's not only about the money but it's definitely an incentive right and you know the thing the interesting thing is like we don't get our time back we never get our time back so it's like you're not only giving value but you're also giving time that you cannot redeem and it's time that you could have been praying, time that you could have been with your loved ones, your friends, your family. And so it is a profession as well as a passion and or a purpose. And so that's one thing that, you know, I try to get people to understand because sometimes people expect everyone to just freely just be on the phone all the time for free. And it's like at that point, it would be so draining and you don't know that the person you're dealing with is serious. And like you say, as you increase your rate, the type of clientele, if they are your clients already, they have to grow with you mentally because they have to go from a scarcity mindset to an abundant mindset. And they're also inspired and they say, you know what, if I need to grow, I need to, budget or I need to add a stream of income. So it inspires even your clients to say, hey, my coach is growing, let me grow. And then the people who hire you, that is the person that's for you at that time. So there's, there's some science to it and some a deeper meaning behind it. So I really commend you on having the courage to believe in yourself because that's one thing that is hard for a lot of people. So Speaking to that, how did you find the confidence to take that leap of faith to become a coach? Yes, so to become a coach, wow. It, I've always been a person that likes to help people and give. In my current career, I am a registered nurse, so that's pretty much the core of that job. You're helping people on many levels, physically, emotionally. You know, I found myself when I was working at the bedside as a nurse that many times I would have many coaching sessions with them. You know, I would talk them through their disease processes and, you know, they would give me their feedback and I was able to console them during a very hard time in their life. So it just came natural to me, to be honest. Like, when I, I always listen to what you're saying and I always receive your emails. And when you were saying that the coaching site was coming, even from last year, I was already anticipating to join. I knew that this was something. It didn't really matter how much it cost. Um, I knew that I needed to be on there because I respect what you're doing. And this is such a great, great opportunity for people, those who love to help other people. Wow, that's amazing. That That's a mindset right there that is really going to, I, I see why you're a coach because not a lot of people have that mindset, you know, just you and it's not like you're born like that. You had to coach yourself to be a dreamer, to walk by faith, to have an abundant mindset. Cause you said something, you said it didn't matter what it costs. So that kind of says like, hey, I'm going after what I want and no one's getting in my way, not even talking about money. But that mindset, that's, that's powerful. And you are a RN. That's an amazing job. And that, that's some great income. So, you know, that's interesting that you have a serious job like that and then you add another job where you're serving people. So that, I mean, do you get drained and tired and want to quit um just to be transparent there are moments yes sometimes you feel like wow okay 
what can I give myself? So I do try to find that balance. Um, I don't coach on Sundays. I've had, have, I've had clients ask me, oh, can I work with you on Sunday? And I let them know that's my day off. So that's where I find the balance. Um, and just, of course, my faith in God and just rejuvenating myself, exercising, eating right, getting enough rest. Um, it's all a balance because I think because I've been a nurse for almost a decade now, I've learned how to balance work and my personal life. So it's, it's pretty helpful. Wow. Latoya, you're doing amazing. You know, I want to encourage you. I can feel, you know, your humble and meek spirit. You know, I can tell that you are, you know, just genuine and authentic. You're not putting on a facade. So those intangibles, that will take you a long way. That will take you a long way when you can be authentic, when you can be real. And that's one thing I've learned, loved about interviewing all the coaches is it makes sense to me why you all are having success because you're putting your authentic self out there and people can read that in your bio. They can sense it from that first coaching call where they're taking a chance. So, you know, I want to commend you and just say, keep going. And if you could say something to the aspiring coaches, those who are kind of on the fence and, you know, scared to take that leap, uh, what would you say, or just to people in general about personal development, what would you say? Absolutely. I would say to anyone who wants, who wants to be a coach, who wants to develop themselves personally, it's very important to believe in yourself, to invest in yourself. No one else is going to do it for you. Um, I have seen when I have invested in myself in various things, I buy the books, I take the courses, I do the work. We have to do the work if you wanna see growth, if you wanna see change in your life. And I'm a firm believer that when we take the steps, God will help you in the process, but you have to make that first step. Sitting back and waiting for someone else to do it for you, you're gonna stay in the same place. So I would say to anyone who's aspiring to be a coach, do it. If you have to budget out and make the investment, you have to make the investment. The return is so much greater. And it's not only monetary, it's, it's you seeing a change in people's lives that you're assisting. It's much bigger than you. So I would say just go for it. Wow, that's amazing. That's amazing. To everyone who has watched this, please take some inspiration from LaToya. And she jumped out there to help others. So if you know that you have a calling and a purpose and you want to serve, even if you're serving at the soup kitchen, you know, and starting there or serving in your church, you know, serving on your job, just reaching out and helping if you would like to, you know, meet LaToya, work with LaToya, you can click the link in the description. It'll take you to her page on My Mentor. You can read her bio, book a session with her. You can also get her ebook. That link is in the description as well. And if any social media that she has shared will be in the description as well. So, hey, thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed today's chat and we will talk soon. Thank you so much, Latoya. Thank you, Tony. Take care.